we are talking about a chatbot that will train himself by himself uh, based on user uh, um, text submission. In this case, the user will provide his own curriculum vitae to the chatbot. And there are the, the, the same chatbot is used by the users, the end users to submit their CV and by companies to find the CV. So what we created is a simple chatbot that we show here. Okay, it's very, it is here, no? Uh, I, I named this chatbot how to train. And is, um, um, I can just take a bird eye view, okay, to all the design. It's not really hard, but to understand, but just look at how it works, how it works. So this is the chatbot, no? This, the, first, the first button is for uh, end users that are uh, just try to uh, provide the CV to the application, no? So they can send their CV. So the, fir the first question is, please attach your CV in TXT format, no? Uh, what I can do here, no, is for example, providing my NARTS CV but we are looking for information technology CV. So I will try to upload my CV, but the, pro the, the point is that my CV is wrong. I, I don't want CV that are outside the domain that I asked for. I just only want coders or people inside the information technology domain, you know? And so what happens here? That, that there is an agent artificial intelligence agent inside this really small flow that provides, that acts just like a human that analyzes the CV, the upcoming CVs and get a yes, approved or not approved, just in this simple way, just look at this, you know. And this is the supervisor. It's just a block that it is immediately after the CV submission. So as soon as the CV is submitted, I provide the CV to my supervisor. The, my, my, the supervisor is simply a GPT task, a standard GPT task, very easy to use. Just provide the prompt and you will get a reply, okay? When you get the reply, no, you, you will get a reply. I, I will show you how to manage you know, this reply. This is the point. Can you tell me if the content section is a valid curriculum vitae inherent to information technology? Please only reply yes or no. And this is the content. The content here is the CV. So if immediately after there is a condition, this condition just, as you can see, checks if GPT replies yes. If replied yes, you can go on with the flow because it's really a good CV, no? It was the CV into the domain that I was searching for. Uh, obviously, inside the, the prompt, you can ask whatever you want not only if it is a valid information technology, but you can also ask for, uh, please uh, tell me if uh, about your opinion, ChatGPT, this is a valid CV or is a fake CV? Or for example, if it is using bad words, no, because I don't want some, someone to, to get offended or someone to provide curriculum vitae that can in some way infect my CV database, you know? I can ask whatever you want. I also can um, uh, split this prompt in many prompts. So each prompt, it, this is the best way to work with prompt chaining, you know, and prompt engineering, to um, split the prompt in many prompts chained. So each prompt can check just one thing about the CV. So it is faster and also faster to process and not so faster to maintain and easier to maintain. Anyway, in this case, you see that you get the, CPT, the, CP, the chat CPT reply and well, no, you will get the valid CV, no, and the valid reply. So we will try again, you know, but this time I will send the right CV, no? The right CV is my CV and I am an information technology engineer. So I will send a CV and I will wait for the validator. Yes, good. It looks like a valid CV. Thanks for your CV. We're uploading it to, to our database. Okay, now what's happening behind the scenes? The drug chatbot um, switched on. Uh, got all the flow that, I show, that I've shown you here. This, the green one, started. And 
in the end, we get the, the, all, the, all the CV processed into the vector engine. So it is being vector, vectorized. So we have a vector of it, the, the, the content is split in chunks, you know, and you are ready now to make a question. Find the CV. Now I just put in, on my head the head of the, of the, uh, the company at Hunter. You know? So now I'm just using my chatbot to, to make a question. So I can just make a question in natural language, okay? Do you have a CV of a CV uh, profile, I can say, with a European project management skills, I can say, push enter, no, I press enter, by wait some seconds while we search for the best available CV fit to your request. What we should have, no, in reply is a, a real human-like reply. Yes, we got it, no, I am happy. So why it is human-like? because it just didn't provide me a link for the CV. He just replied to me with yes, no? So do you have a CV profile? Yes. Andrea has experience in managing European projects. This is totally generated by ChatGPT, based on the content of my knowledge base. But the main thing about this, the main topic about this flow is that I didn't use the user interface to upload the CV by end. The CV was uploaded directly from the chatbot. They trained directly from the chatbot. And not only this, but there is also an agent that acts like a human that validated the, the, um, the curriculum vitae and approved it and so trained it. You can provide your CV. It is approved also at 3 p.m during the night, during the weekend, every day, and you don't have a human behind the scenes. The human can always be there, but just to do the, the extra work, no? to e extreme validation, because AI can always fail. But the idea is that I can do more questions, for example. I'm looking, no? and this is the interesting part, that you can always talk in, uh, make questions without a user interface, without press some buttons to select the skills you are searching for, to apply filters. No, you just have to talk. I'm looking for a CV with coding skills, uh, especially Java, especially Java. The other, um, do you have one? Do you have one for me? What is the other, the other great advantage of using, of using this kind of um, interaction? That you can talk in any language. You can make your... The, the curriculum vitae can be also in Arabian, no? in Persian. I don't know. Whatever language you want. French. But if you do the question in English, it will reply to you in English. And if you make the question in Italian, it will reply to you in Italian. Okay? And this is the great advantages.